All right. Hello, faithful viewers. Uh, this is Adventures of Square. Um, we have voice development. We have more shape development. Hello, everyone. This is Adventures of Square, the co-op mode. You may think, didn't I say this was impossible? Because this is episode two, level one. Now, you see there's actually a handy dandy patch uh, to let it play on multiplayer. So everything I said about it not being compatible in the last video is false now. Uh, so I'll, I'll post a link to the patch in the description if you care. Oh, snap. So we've configured co-op to work and it's just been a blast. So I'm just gonna show everyone what co-op in Adventures of Square looks at with my buddy. Uh, Slib, Brom, what, what the heck is your name? I think Shape gone now. Uh, that's a, I think I should rebrand myself too. Uh, let me go to, let me go to Advanced, uh. Will I be one Shape when you can be all, oh, wait, wait, hold on, there's a, what's, Cylinder? There's a Cylinder robot. Oh, yeah, those guys suck. I don't like them. Does the explosion also hurt you on these guys? Yep, all robots hurt you. Robots are just generally, uh, y you don't want to get too close to them in general because, like, your defibrillator won't even work against it, and and you'll just have proven yourself stupid. Wait, defibrillators don't work on robots? No, they do not. Or at least they don't seem to at all. I mean, yeah, if you yeah. think about it, it should make the it should give them more life when you use a defibrillator on them. Or like short circuit them maybe. I don't know. I'll I'll reach Did out to my friends at Big Brick Games because I'm friends with the people at Big Brick Games now. I'm just kidding. That'd be cool. I mean, I'm, sorry, I'm familiar friend. with them. You're my friend. I have some big bricks in my backyard. That's pretty cool. You should show me those bricks. Now the interesting thing about this GZ do multiplayer is that we're a couple towns away from each other and we don't appear to have any real lag or so he says. Oh no, you pushed me to the goop, dude. See, you don't die. Okay. This is purple goop. This is perp goop. Alright. You know, this, this is a very tightly knit this this entire game. As far as the ammo uh, con conservation goes, yeah, it's pretty good. Um. All right, so this is the mechanic. You're gonna want one of those, buddy. Don't worry, they respawn. Those things always respawn, like in every. They spawn every ten seconds. Uh, I like these very faint purple dual pixels. Make sure not to fall. You so will die. Up. I don't have much more constructive uh, game. Oh snap! Okay, I'm, I'm dead. I'm pretty much dead. I don't have much as far as uh, constructive gaming criticism as I like this and I don't like this. Well, that's good. I mean, I wish I didn't have to think about how much I don't like video games or how much I don't seem to like video games as much as I used to. I used to be so entertained with garbage. And I kind of wish I could go back yeah. to those days. Oh god, let me think, let me think. There is this game called Looney Tunes Hackney Arsenal for the Xbox 360. Uh, like, one of the- it was an early title, like, or maybe I just got my Xbox a bit late. I had a Looney Tunes game for the Xbox a long time ago, too. I don't know what it was called. I think it was just called Tunes, and it was like some weird brawler, beat-em-up, strange party-ish game? I have no mm. idea. This one was, uh, it was kind of, uh, kind of like a beat-em-up, almost like a hack-and-slash type beat-em-up. Uh, you go through a level, and you beat up this, I think they were like robots, they, you know, just some simple, harmless enemy. And then that was just, that was pretty much the whole game. Oh. You got Nickelodeon Splat, dude. And, uh, it was... Even as a kid, I thought it wasn't the best game I've ever played, but it was still really entertaining, you know, for like a kid. 
a lot of things are interesting as a kid though i i still am very deeply interested in like exploring games like that's why i like levels and games that are just gigantic and thankfully square has me covered in fact there is many doom levels that have me covered sorry what was that moy let's get ready, get ready, get ready to square up That's right. That's, you know, technically, like, aren't all of these guys made up squares? They're not, they're not perfect. In fact, they're not even, yeah. they're not even, like, really circular. I mean, technically, they're, they're, they're just, mean, like, uh, illusions. I think if, if square society was real, everybody would be based on their number of corners and edges rather than like their actual precise shape so like squares would probably be like a uh, you know and keep this like not very like realistically uh con con not too realistic you know not too connected to actual like races or ethnicities or anything i think we'd just be more like there's like rhombuses and then there's like squares you know what i mean like squares are like a perfect all sides are the same length and whatever you know I, I don't know i'm not sure what i'm getting at here i think uh why can i walk on this it's like oh wait i'm, I'm running out wait yeah, is would be safe. It'd be cool. is there a shotgun somewhere i feel like i may have missed one yeah, a yeah. shotgun oh where is it so jump over here and then you gotta go up the stairs and just drop off uh, hold on, right. sorry about that. Let me go up the stairs and... Oh, wait, I think I just gave the wrong direction. But... Uh, do I have to go in this teleporter by chance? I kind of avoided uh, it. I actually figured it out. Okay, go back Oh, to hold the... on, I, I accidentally win the teleporter. I gotta go back there. Oh, no. Sorry, fellas, my brain cells are a little bit... Uh... Deprived of oxygen. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do? No, it's over. Yeah. It's I partied a little bit with my brother for uh, New Year's. Not really partied, but uh, um, I was uh, under the influence of something during the during the New Year event. Though that was two days ago, I feel like I still am stupid. I feel like it decreased my brain cells a bit. Yeah, during the New Year's event, uh, there's a lot of good loot that drops. You, you know, you just gotta make sure you're there to get up. No, there's a secret up there. I gotta go up. I, a... I wonder if it's walking around the thing, jumping over here. That's how you get to the purple key, man. You're not thinking hard enough. Actually, I don't remember if there's another secret over here. I feel like there was, but I think I may be wrong. Maybe. Hold on. Let me get another helmet. I got in all the secrets of this. I'm a good gamer. J just right now, I'm a I'm a stupid gamer. I want the I want, I want the game to like at the end of the game. It, uh, there's a little voice and it comes out and it says like, "Sorry, gamer, you got the bad ending." And it tells you all the secrets that you missed. You know. Well, the every end to the level already does. All right, all right, all right. When this when there's going to wait okay so let me go into the purple there we go okay 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 so before you enter there we have to enter at the same time all right okay so this is the door uh yeah don't enter it yet okay i want to see if i missed something I, I want the game to tell you like you, you messed up and have like a very pretty like shape lady you like also just kind of sits there, kind of like in Rampage World Tour. I never played Rampage. Oh, I found a secret. Uh, I think that's you know, it Rampage, though. Rampage is, is like Rampage is almost the uh, I I'm not I'm not sure if I'm using the right word. The antithesis. It's like the the, fucking, the definition of um a game that you you just every level you just get more and more tired of it. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go. 
Oh no! I didn't know it was a teleporter. They actually. Oh. <laughs> I was uh... thinking, I'm like, I think we're gonna die if we both go at the same time, but. <laughs> okay, look, it's not a teleporter in single player. In single player, the door actually. You know what? Since you've been. Since I mowed you down on accident, maybe you can actually go in there and press the switch because it's a really cool cutscene, kind of like the beginning of Halo 3 ODST. If you oh, ever played yeah. that game. Yeah, it's like that. It's like that. It's really cool. Oh! Oh no! Ooh. Wait, let me see what my friend's up to. I don't, uh, don't walk into space without a helmet. Yeah. I was gonna go grab a shotgun, but, you know, I got two pistols. That'll work. Okay, just... well this is like the end of the level anyway, so I mean... Just make sure you don't get hit. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Welcome to the moon, my friend. Hey, moon. You know, if the moon actually was made out of cheese, my only question would be, how does it preserve? No oxygen, silly. Oh, yeah. That's a dumb you answer. Do That's a dumb so. <laughs> can no, you say that one? Can you say that one louder? That was a pretty good joke. I Actually. Said, oh, GZ Doom. He's like, calm down. All right. So it looks like uh, that's it. I missed a secret. I can't believe it. Just, I think wait, I was right. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized the 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 big old red jug is called Sir Kool Aid. Wait, really? Yeah, it's Sir Kool Aid. Like Sir Kool, like cool. Oh, uh, I didn't. I haven't looked at that. Of course, I haven't. But, oh, wait, wait. Is this a secret? Uh, no, it's not a secret. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sad, but I'm happy because that's the first okay. level of Adventures of Whatever, Episode 2. We missed a secret. Alright. So, uh, this level is long and hard. Episode 2 of Angular Boo Blue. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you oh, wait, took my I goo. I'm going to be playing these levels with paint gun start because that's just the way I like playing Doom. I like it like an arcade. I like playing it like an arcade game. You know, I think uh, one of the arcade games I hated playing the most as a kid was Gauntlet because your your character's health bar ticks down as you play. Yeah, but I mean, it is an arcade game. Yeah, that's true. If it wasn't an arcade game, you'd see people like going all over the place. But yeah, I do. I, see, I think yeah. I do prefer arcade games that are where your time isn't based on like a time limit, but rather your skill. Yeah. Though that does lead to like Metal like Gear. Games that are good, not bad. No, not Metal Gear, but like Metal Slug levels of difficulty. I think Metal Slug is kind of like impossible to play with just no i mean like when you're first playing those games for the first time you cannot do that on three lives and a couple of continues you need like 50 lives or 100 only after you get good at it with 100 lives you can start doing it with the three lives and that's how a lot of shoot 'em ups i believe function yeah i feel like it's almost more of a performance game where you you really just get good at it to show off yeah a little bit uh... Yeah, it's just a little, like in the arcade, like it's very great for showing off. Like someone's like, "Oh, you know, like, like what game should we play?" It's like I want to play some Metal Slug, and they're like, "Wow, that game's hard though." And you're like, "Not for me," but you don't tell them that you've been there playing Metal Slug for like maybe like a hundred or so games. <clears throat> you know, like like people who play uh, Dance Dance Revolution and stuff, or like those rhythm games, like they play that stuff a lot. I found the shotgun, if you need it. The amount, of, uh, the amount of quarters that they put in, it's intimidating. Hey, I have a cool idea. So, did you know that Vanilla Doom, there is a map mark feature? So what you have to do is you open up your map, turn off follow mode, and put the cursor, zoom in on a certain area, and you press M, I think. Uh, wait, wait, is it not, is it not M? Do it, is it one, two, hold on. I know, hold on, 
Square didn't get rid of that. I know Square didn't get rid of that. Let me see. What what is what is the button for it? Uh, maybe it hasn't been bound. Uh, let's see. Auto map. I can't believe this. No, I was about to show off something I'm, really cool. Sometimes I don't like to kill enemies because I don't want the, the the level to feel so empty. That's really sad. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, th that's why arch files exist. Oh my god. Uh, have you seen the new trailer for, for Doom? Like, I don't know, I guess you call it 6 or whatever. <laughs> the new, Certainly, the new... yeah, I have. Yeah, I was watching it with my, my friends, and, uh, you know, like, they're, they're not super, you know, Doom savvy as I've become. And, uh,. <clears throat> You know, we're just watching it, we're like, oh, this is really cool, the music's great. And then, you know, he opens up this big door at the end, and I'm like, oh man, like, that better not be what I think it is. You know, they're like, oh, what do you mean? I'm like, better not be an arch file. And sure enough, it's an arch file. I think that the developers of Doom should have to pay reparations for pro Doom players as I, for for doing something, for making an enemy so overpowered and allowing mappers to make some, to make maps comparable to war crimes. <laughs> They're complicit. Don't even get, what was it, uh, art, the one level with the mazes and the shotguns and the arch bottom. That's like every Doom map, which one, man? It's specifically the one where you start off in like a maze with a bunch of arch files, it's like the only enemy. Oh, is that? That's Plutonia. <laughs> yeah, that's another. I think that's one of the reasons my buddy here, Pluto, uh, Moises, doesn't like the Plutonia experiment so much. It's a Plutonia, because I'm always stuck. I don't like. I got stuck feelings about it. Uh, okay, I'm playing like a goofball right now. I, I've been this level several times by now. I should know how to. how to rearrange my thoughts to to man i'm stupid man, I'm stu i got lost i'm gonna have to hold on you don't need to do nothing uh, there's actually several areas you can go in in virus suit yep i got the red key Ooh. hey i found some eyeballs yep that's a new enemy they're they're not lost souls. I think. They're lost souls, aren't they? They even have a not pain elemental. I think they're cool, though. Like, you'll notice something cool about their appearance in later levels. Jump on your little eyeball head and skip across lakes with fire. I like how a lot of these textures are just like MS Paint versions of Doom textures. Uh oh. What hap- what did you do? No, uh, there's like a 3D pyramid triangle guy. Hold on, I'm trying to find where you- I'm trying to triangulate your position. That's the badumtis uh, noise used for comedic oh. effect. Have you seen the video where two, the two dudes drop like... Is it, they drop the drums off of a, a cliff and it makes the sound? Um, no I have not actually. Yeah, they drop some drums and like a, a, a little clappy thing off a cliff. And it makes that sound perfectly. I don't know if it's, you know, like, edited, if they edited it in or, or not, but... I really want to believe that it was just a natural thing. Haha, <laughs> your drone is stupid. Oh boy. Oh. Oh! Is this like liquid cheese or milk or something? Uh, I think it... I think it's milk. I think it... I think it's milk. Well, I don't know. I don't remember. I think there's a wider texture, so I think this might be melted cheese. 
but I no 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 because there's melted cheese later. Uh, I don't, I forgot. I'll I'll ask Jimmy because he's my best friend, Jimmy, the creator of Adventures of Square. Go. Uh, oh, sorry, I was looking for secrets. Do something in virus too. I, mean, I did, I did. There's a chain gun cannon up there, behind you, up there. Oh. I wonder if there's anything up here. Nope. I'm about to run out of air, so I'm just gonna. Going in there. Nice. You know, <laughs> the, the, the thing about Archviles is, I think they took the meaning of rip and tear from the first game out a little too far because, uh, I'm pretty sure when Doom 2 came out, there's a lot of people going into like barber shops or wh whatever the, to get their hair fixed. So they're ripping and tearing their hair out. Rip and tear, your joke, excuse me, actually, your joke doesn't work because the Doom comic actually came out four years after Doom 2. Uh, how did you, how did you not know that? Okay, you can, you, you're allowed to give yourself the Uzis now because that's the second, that's the second uh, Uzi. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So this... Normally in single player you could just pick up the Uzi and it will give you the second one, but in multiplayer there's no way of no knowing unless you were to make a Z script module for it, which has not been done yet. So what we have what we do is that once we see the second Uzi in the level, I go on the console and type in give Uzis, which is the which is the console command to give yourself the Uzis. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you gotta spell it uh, a certain way. You gotta spell it double O because it's ooze. Don't worry. I let them cheat on my homework. My screen's still recording. There we go. Uh, so there is like a little devilish uh, happy face. A little um, devilish somewhere around here. Hold on. I found a secret he's just now. Space. Yeah, I see him. I see him. He's in here. Is that a teleporter? We gotta teleport. That was scary. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. Oh, what is this? <clears throat> There it goes. Where are you, Moyes? I ran out into the cheese. Uh, let me just see. I'm in the warehouse. The square house, rather. You see where you're pointing? Uh, it's in that area, in case you forgot. Uh, hey. There's a guy. Whoa! There I'm taking is. out these robots, like, predator style. Oh, hey, I see you. In dark yeah. hallways. Okay, what let me find the secrets. Do? Sorry, what was that? What's the devil spear do? Uh, I don't. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I forgot. Um, right, I think it. Better. I think it gives you damage boost. Okay, I. I I'm Hold on, I need to find that devil spear. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. Or, or, ooh, there, there's one. Ooh, there's a guy. That's me. Hello, it's me. Oh, a defi defib. The most useless weapon to have in this area, because all these guys are robots. Uh, if you knock him into a wall, it does damage. Pretty good. Robots don't get knocked into anything, I thought. Oh, over here. Oh, hey, look at this guy. That's not, that's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did that already. <laughs> it's not a good idea. That first platform will kill you. It was... I'm I'm lucky to be alive. This is a classic gamer's trap. Quickly dispatch the foes and continue forward and ignore the... The goodies is what I would write if I were writing like a game facts article on this. 
Yeah, yeah, if, if you were like a Prima Strategy Guide author, like, what what ramblings would you write about? Um, I would, uh... Go down the hallway to pick up... Oh, the yeah, the Devil's Spear makes you... Makes you hot. It's a, terrible, it's a risky jump. One fall into the Cyan Ooze Pit, and... Uh, give you a pun. It has to work with a pun. That's what they usually do it. That's one ooze pit. You don't want to dip Don't get it. bent out of shape. <laughs> yeah, there you go. After you pick up the devil's... You're gonna want to... I don't know. Uh, this is too much work. I don't know how they did this. I got the red key. See, Follow me. I can see why someone had to get paid money for that. <laughs> it's a lot. I feel like you have to portray your energy into writing too much. No, I can't do that without thinking. Hey, Moy, where'd you, where'd you go? Whoa, where'd you go, my friend? You went in another dimension. You know, this reminds me of the screenshot. Whenever you, uh, after you beat the, the demo of Doom, when it just shows you the screenshots of Inferno and, uh... Yeah, you were in the thick of it. You were in, like, the straight yeah. thick of it. Because I, I saw that screenshot so many times when I was a kid. Because I only had the demo. Me too. I didn't know how to download Doom.wad. I had to call, I had to fax them a payment to get Doom. No, that actually didn't happen. That is what he had to do, though, I think. Yeah. Oh, what, what, a, what a different time. Yeah. Now we can just go on Steam and you can you know, download now... your latest. Um, you can download anything. Pretty much any game that's on there, you can buy it. Now I can go on Neopets and put my age as like 20, and then I'll be able to message people without having to fax Neopets. I want to see, I want to see a, a Neopets guide on how to make your account without your pa parents' permission for like other kids who didn't know how to like set up emails and stuff. What if you don't have parents? Then you parent or guardian permission. What if you, what if you're Okay fine. That I joke mean, doesn't work. I feel like if you don't have a parent or guardian, you probably don't have a computer. Or access to one. What if you're at a library <laughs> and you wanna play stick RPG? If I was if I was uh, homeless, you'd probably see me at the library playing Neopets on the weekends. And someone would write an article about me, and That's then a... other people would, it would somehow reach like, a, you know, like a, a GoFundMe where it's like, let's get this guy his own computer. Let's get him a lifetime money. supply of Neopets. Let's get him some Neo, some Neo cash so he can dress, dress up. up. Oh, <laughs> uh, how did you get up there? That's a secret, I think. I mean, uh, it's, you got the space jumping. Oh yeah, wait, no, no, you don't unlock the space jump until after Norfair. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm surprised. How did you, you just sequence broke, dude. Old news to play space jump this early in the game. Also, I need a helmet, because I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to drown. You can't drown if there's no air, wait. <laughs> I was like, that's the antithesis, uh, I'm gonna look up the word antithesis, because I feel like if I'm using it wrong, then I'm the antithesis of, uh... Of a clever guy. <laughs> people who don't use words correctly. I'm the antithesis of, a uh, that word does not mean what you think it means. This is very high IQ ga game. This is a very high IQ game. Put that in your game, in your, uh, Prima Strategy Guide. Like, I don't know, put it in there somewhere. This is a very high intellect game, so, you know, if you're a casual gamer, I'd say you'd better off skip this one. I still, I, I think Prima Strategy Guides, even though the they technically I don't, don't have a place in our market, they have a place in my heart, because when I was a kid, that was prime reading on the pooper material I have one right here you at least grab it 
right there on the shelf. I can see it. Okay. Which one? Should I grab Final Fantasy X or Ocarina of Time? Uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that one's actually Prima. The other one's Brady Games, and I don't know who Brady is. Yeah, he's... Brady sounds like a crappy childhood friend. Sounds like a... <laughs> Sounds like a, a, a scoop of one. Look at all, there's all this art, all these pictures. You got like these, like, you know, high opacity pictures in the background. I always wanted the Prima Strategy Guide for Pokemon Platinum because it had like the, the map and everything, and you can just like look through it and see all the detail. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could get the same oh, thing have... online, but Sarah, what, looking at it on a netbook that wasn't half the size of the strategy guide wasn't as interesting. Yeah, let me read one. This one's the Dongo's Cavern, right? Let me... Hmm. Ready for me. This fiery cavern is guarded by the overgrown King Dodongo. Uh, it's hostile to young, inadequately ugh, equipped adventurers. Take care as you make your way through, watching for new types of monsters and dangerous traps. Because you use explosives here to solve the trickier puzzles, remember to toss or set them before they explode! Exclamation mark. So, you know, there's some there's some energy there. I, like I, I was too stupid to figure out the Dodongo puzzle with the eyes when I first played it, and I first played it when I was like, uh, 16. So I think the brain cells would should have caught up by then. Yeah. You know that's. I never played too much Legend of Zelda as a kid. Uh, maybe it was just a little more thinking than I than I <laughs> wanted. I'm, I'm not sure. I just didn't play it as much as I would have liked. Uh, also, you know, I picked the uh, Xbox 360 over over the Wii. When you're used yeah. to Halo, when your first game growing up was Halo and you play Legend of Zelda after in your teenage years, it's a whole lot more of uh, critical thinking than the average Halo player usually has to put up with. You know, the thing that really sucks is I'm not even good at shooter games. Like, I'm really bad at them. It's a good thing I so, am. I didn't, I didn't get anything from playing Halo or any like shooter games. I'm just... Alright, you know where the final area is? It's uh, it's in that place where I where you sequence broke and used the space jump where you weren't supposed to. Oh, oh yeah, there's a little broken bridge. Uh, I see it. Yeah, here, yeah, the broken bridge. Here, come over here. We finished the level and I got everything. How's this uh, circle? Is it called a jet jerk? Yep. No, he has a name, he has a name. It's All of them simple. have names. Like, his it's name was... Jerk, right? His name was OXAY077XYZ. And that one was 0876Y. If I just let him uh, take me down, it would have shown up with his name. But Butterforge. Wait, so this was Butter and Cheese? Wait. Wait, no, 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 look, see? There was butter, there was melted but. Okay, so, uh, we're not gonna beat this level today. <laughs> uh, cheese crater. Remember what I said about how I like really large levels? <laughs> yeah. Uh, There's no small level, I bet. Yeah. I'm gonna let you just exp I'm just gonna let you s see for yourself the size of this level. This one, it reminds me of, uh, when I was a kid. Oh, no, no! Yeah, never mind about that story. It wasn't good anyway. <laughs> wow, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is a lot. This is a massive level. Very a massive. I've seen a lot of lava. I wonder what the game's explanation for that. No, that's melt, that's the melted cheese. I'm pretty, you know what, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna sacrifice myself for the sake of checking the... Whether it's cheese or not. All right, I'm recording this. I can't fake this. Uh, huh? So it's just heat. No, 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 no. That's that's a that's a generalized, that's a generalized form of that. Okay, fine. Okay, we don't know. We don't know. 
You don't have. Oh no! I teleported back to the beginning. Okay, never mind. I'm back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops, Daisy. Wait, how did you get here? This I teleporter walked. shouldn't even be opened. No, yeah, I walked all the way over. Um. Why does milk? Hey, hey, regular. I just something. Oh my good goodness. Okay. Let's go to my screen real quick. Tell me if you can see what I'm seeing. I'm in a room full of uh, circles and. I'm pretty sure that's like one of those screenshots you're talking about from. Yeah, from the, the end it's of like to advertise what the game is gonna look like in the ma in the in the mouse time. mode in the dog mode because you're you're on the you're on the ground so it kind of looks like it's in the point of view of a dog if you look on the left there's a little circle tree statue thing what i like to think is that's supposed to be like uh the way that we have art like statues of our of humans you know like greek statues and stuff i feel like that's the uh, Circle statue. That's very enlightening. Circle. I want to think that. I really want to believe that's that's what what they were going for. And you know. Well, I'll ask my best friend, my best friend Jimmy, the creator of Adventures of Square, about the implications of that statue for you, my friend. You know they can. Oh my! I'm just getting slaughtered. At any time they wait, wait. Come out, the, those things know. are called tritangles. I, I, that, that's, I like that. Tritangles. But it, it's just weird because they don't have ankles. I mean, it's still cool. Yeah. I like Jimmy more than you. Oh, yeah. I can. I mean, I, 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 I. I I'm not lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best not to stay composed. Oh man. You can smell that? That's the smell of chili. You know, I think this is chili. I think this is chili right here. Chili from where? Like a commercial chili? One that's homemade? Uh, probably a com oh, oh, Probably commercial chili. You know, uh, commercial square wise. In a square universe. Why can't any of these stupid circles understand that they're made of the same squares that I'm made out of? Same bits? Yeah. I mean, we're all made up of tiny squares, so, like, why the hate, yo? Shape. This will be a bad time to make an Ed Sheeran joke. I don't know I'm funny. Hey, you know, uh, what was it? You know, I was sitting there, I was, I was playing Adventure Square, I was thinking, I was thinking of the song, Wish You Were Here, and I was like, what if there was a, a shape version of that song? Look at this. How I but wish, I how I wish you were square. We're just uh, two rum, now nah, we're just... Okay. Two. O's, you know, like like O shape. Eh, I don't know. I'm not feeling that one. It's not necessarily a shape. We're just two circles swimming in a. Uh, hey, um. But circle rhymes with fishbowl. If you're, I feel like if the you're best way to make stupid. Go out. Go out into public and start singing your song that you want to make in public, and then you're just not going. You're gonna want to make it perfect first go, so you're not gonna come up with any silly lyrics. When I was in middle school, me and my friend Joseph were really into My Little Pony, and we considered singing the winter wrap-up song in the quad once. Oh man! See you later next time on Adventures of Square. The cheese you know, crater. It really, it really puts me in a spot. You know, I'm kind of glad you like Jimmy more than me.